while listening to the questions and everything you had to share, it was really yeah. clear. I felt like, wow, you know, just alone in all the questions, we see life happening because the questions went from excitement to sadness to all kinds of afflictions, business and what, how can we use our lives? It was just everything. It was a, totally rich and, and from one second to the next we could feel everything deeply, right? Like we just listen and we, we feel everything as it is. And that's really, and, it, it, I, I, and, and we care. We just, we listen openly and then, then we can just, we, we just care what, what every, every single person says. And um, I'm just saying that because it was so obvious. That's how, th really, that, that's, that's life itself. And all these data, all these emotions and experiences, they, well, we never know what, what comes up and we never know what happens. We don't know when we wake up in the morning what the data streams of the day are. And it could be anything. And it, it's, so, it's so changing. And... So what, and then coming together here and seeing, wow, we are offered and we have a choice, a lifestyle choice. It's like, it is a lifestyle choice. And it is a choice, um, yeah, it is a, it is a really incredible choice and a lifestyle choice we can count on, like totally count on. Yeah, and when, when, when listening to the, these questions, I thought, wow, we are really lucky that we know something about us that is totally resourceful, responsive, powerful, and deeply caring, too. And, and how, 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 just in my experience, how I can relate to every single human being, and I feel totally connected. And that's incredible, just, just by even people we don't know, even people I don't, I don't know. And just in that moment, just by getting to know myself so completely with everything, everything that comes up, it's like knowing, knowing everyone. And then we can sit here and talk openly about what comes up and, and share from our experience. So the Four Mainstays lifestyle, then again, when, when, when I hear, okay, that's a lifestyle choice, we can just choose that as, as, our, as our life. Choosing to rely on open intelligence. Today, when Candice spoke in that, in that video, there are so many data, I mean, so many data, anything comes up, but there's one reality and that's inseparable. And we can always choose to rely on, on that. Or we rely on the descriptions, but that's very, that is very exhausting and it's just all over, like from one to the next. But it doesn't mean that we, we ignore them because we feel them fully. We can focus and emphasize on all these data and it is really powerful to normalize and that's why to share them openly <coughs> and just being open with what comes up is so normalizing. You know, just knowing well, others are also, also overwhelmed, others are also really sad and afflicted, and, and we just knowing we are not alone or feel lonely. And with that powerful perspective and that definition of all data being open intelligence, getting to know that perspective that choice exalts all data and empowers all data. When you hear about the wisdom counterpart, seeing that all data are powerful, because there is just that beneficial flow of, of, our, of open intelligence. That's, that's all there is there. And, and recognizing that we're confirming that together. And at one point, it's less and less noticed these descriptions of being something that we actually need to change, like we have to fix in ourselves. 
Like I had a whole list of data I really didn't like about myself, so these needed to change in, in some ways. It didn't matter how, but it just had to look different. And that kind of struggle just completely stopped. I mean, it might be that I sometimes think, okay, well, I don't, I just don't like that. Let's have a chocolate. But, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I love coming to the cafe. But see, I could, I, you know, you could get into a whole story about that. But maintain open intelligence. That's the key with every step along the way. Because otherwise, you, you know, it's, it, it isn't extreme to say, okay, I can't do anything that is fun because it could be an antidote too, first of all. And then, again, as well, it is powerful to reflect deeply about the data that come up and really that way of we, we just were so used to getting rid of data. That's like just the way learned. Like this one comes up, we don't like. I feel lonely, need to change something. Something's completely wrong, flawed with me. I'm wrong, bad, and I need to be fixed. So, yeah. Very normalizing to share and to see that we are exalted. We are completely powerful, feeling lonely, it's, it's a total empowerment right there. The form for a mainstay's lifestyle, we, it's a powerful force together. We are taking responsibility for our data and we are not participating in these kinds of ways of using our speech. And suddenly there is an atmosphere of complete respect and openness. And I can see how and why I, for example, I can just talk for myself with building up businesses or what, what do you want to do with your life? How can, how can we be of most benefit? I mean, that question probably everybody asks. And you have heard um, Candace also speak about, you know, you write down the 10 passions, what you want to do, and then you do reduce it to five and three. And... Everybody wants to be of benefit, and we have such resource, open intelligence resource, the Four Mainstays lifestyle as a context to empower us only, just to see everybody has so many talents. How can they be best used? Sometimes we have so many, then we don't know where to focus, you know? And people know that you'll get many, many job offers as well. <laughs> How do I use my time? And maybe now you think, no, that's not the case for me, maybe for the others. <laughs> that's also a normal data stream, like feeling, well, everybody else, just I, me not, I'm not included. But really, when you look into that, that power of open intelligence, y you know that. It, it, it's right there. And the power of not being caught and collapsed into data stream is also logical. Isn't it? It is logical, and um, it, it's almost not any more... Once you're introduced to open intelligence and gain confidence in open intelligence, you see you can't even think anymore in those ways of emphasizing data. Like, you can't think anymore your way back into how that was. I was actually wanting to look up that metaphor again that we had in one of the trainings when you press out the oil from the sesame seed. It's pressed out so you can't get it back in. It's like out. <laughs> and <laughs> so, and, 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 and that's, that was a metaphor and I hope I did that um, correct now. <laughs> um, there's no way back. There w you know, it was... It was always like that anyway, but the recognition of open intelligence is there and you can't deny it anymore. So once there, it's, it's it just more and more and like that outshining of all data streams. Open intelligence, beneficial potency, 
just more and more and the data less and less of that kind of impact. Even if you feel completely overwhelmed, no, it's not a problem. It's, it, it doesn't matter how you describe your situation right now. It all is inseparable and so, so you can't get out of it. <laughs> you know, it, it. It's not possible. Everything is just perfect. It's a perfect opportunity. So the exaltation of all data, it's, and it's built in into being a human being. So there's no one who has more chance or less of a chance. And that's a relief too. And we just want to share it. We're so excited about the neighbors coming <coughs> and want to just share what is possible. And, and even if we don't say anything, they will see that something is really, like I never want to leave here and want no, nobody to leave. <laughs> and so it's just nice to be together. And then to uh, create environments where we work together it's natural that we see that it, it has a power to build up businesses relying on the four mainstays and have that context. Just having teams work together where there are no games going on and no agendas in the background. It's just a complete dedication to be of benefit where everything is dedicated to the benefit, all data streams. <laughs> and taking full responsibility. So I see that I, I just love working like that. And that alone is the most effective way. Mm. Putting all your energy and power into that single action of choosing open intelligence. Then all data stream I, but I used in the effective way, in the most effective way. <laughs>